The Vaticuti Foundation has partnered, ladies and gentlemen, with multi-specialty hospitals and institutes to develop independent multi-specialty state-of-the-art institutes within their main campuses. The foundation will establish several such centers across the world for the overall growth of robotic and other innovative, minimally invasive surgery as a discipline. In 2010, the Vaticuti Foundation inaugurated its first center at the Nedanta Vaticuti Institute of Robotic and Minimally invasive surgery in Gurgaon uh, in India, along with the European Vatikuti Robotic Institute in Ulst, uh, Germany at OLV Institute, um, Ulst in Belgium, sorry, at the OLV Institute. Subsequently, the foundation has also partnered with five more hospitals within India, namely the Kim's Hospital, Hyderabad, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore, Asian Heart Institute in Mumbai, Apollo Hospital, Chennai, and Apollo Hospital, Kolkata. These hospitals have opened institutes dedicated to multi-specialty robotic surgery in partnership with the Vatikuti Foundation. Specialties include urology, gynecology, cardiovascular, thoracic, liver transplant, and ENT. Dr. Narish Trehan is a renowned cardiovascular and cardiothoracic surgeon and the CMD and chief cardiac surgeon of Medanta TM, the Medicity, a 1,500-bedded multi-super specialty institute which offers cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art treatment facilities at an affordable cost. Dr. Trehan is credited for his vision to own the first robot in Asia as early as in 2000. And Medanta joined hands with the foundation to set up the first multi-specialty robotic surgery program in the world through the Medanta Vatikuti Institute of Robotic Surgery. It has performed close to 300 surgeries since its inception in 2010 and has trained its team of 30 surgeons in different specialties. May I invite Dr. Trehan to tell us more about this venture. Many has set the right trend, be brief, and move on because there is a whole lineup. <clears throat> First, let me just thank uh, Dr. Monte Kalawalia for accepting our invitation to actually inspire the congregation to really, because he can see far, far ahead of most, than most of us can, and I was requesting him that, look, India is a beneficiary of this whole movement where, if you look at it, and I don't know if money in his speech, because I came halfway, gave credit to who actually brought the robot into existence. It was us cardiac surgeons in the mid-90s. We are still struggling with the entire technology to make uh, to get the full potential for cardiac st surgery still, but we are almost there. But in the meantime, our, our brethren from urology actually ran with the ball and have actually given a great impetus to the growth of the robotics around the world. So the thing that really keeps coming, is it robotics for the sake of robotics or robotics for actually enhancing the experience and the, and the treatment for the patient? <clears throat> I've been associated with now with over 15 years since the development because it was uh, the technology was developed by NASA actually in the belief that when thousands of patients are living in space stations you could perform surgery in, in, if they required emergency surgery up there sitting on earth. That was the whole idea. When it became clear it's not happening they mothballed the technology and then the two companies intuitive and computer motion bought the technology. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I think that we have come a long way. I would I thank uh, Mr. Vatikuti, Padma, and Dynamic Mahendra Bhandari for actually making it happen in such a short period. Of course, Mani Menon is, uh, the, you can't say enough about what he's contributed to the development and the teaching of, of robotics. But I can say that we can see very clearly it will multiply very rapidly in India because the patients are actually benefiting usually. And the more we make it happen, the more we'll be able to bring down the cost by the cost of the robot and also the instruments. But also, Raj, I mean, I hope nobody from Intuitive is here, but maybe one day with our technological and IT capabilities in India, we can actually create our own Desi robot in the, in the near future. Thank you very much and great uh, uh, sort of... Uh, uh, hope for this conference to actually benefit all of us in moving the, sec the sector forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Trahan.